I am a Filipino worldwide fine art palette knife artist. You're probably wondering, what is a palette knife artist? A palette knife artist is exactly that. Someone who paints with a palette knife. I am a purist because I paint with oil. And I paint with oil because when you thrust a palette knife thick with oil, wet on wet, there's always this element of exhilarating surprise. And I am the type who wants to be excited. I am a colorist because the power of my paintings is drawn from the fierce bold colors that I paint. I am worldwide because I have shown in most key cities of the United States and continue to show in most parts of Europe. So when I was very young in the U.S., I was exposed to Peruvian and Mexican art. And then there was this Mexican artist that just touched my heart. She painted too with a palette knife stroke. She painted too with thick paint. But she scribbled on her canvas. And why is that? Because paint in Mexico is expensive. Therefore, she had to use that scribble to add oomph to her art. So on my first day in class, I am self-trained and I am privately taught. I scribbled on my canvas and my mentor asked me, why are we doing that? And I said, because I admire this Mexican artist and I want to be like her. My mentor said, before you can do anything, before you go off anywhere, you have to learn the rules, you have to learn the technique. Therefore, since then, I have evolved, I no longer, and I will never scribble on canvas again. Not because it is not my style, but it's because I have developed another style. I am an instinctive artist, instinctive, because I do not paint out of rebellion. I do not paint out of pretentious art soliloquies, but rather I paint from the gut. And when the paint is done, the painting, my painting, is one. So where does a talk like this come from? A talk like this comes from a dream. Do you have a dream? Do you have a dream? For an artist, if you are the kind of artist that wants to sit at home, paint and sip coffee, that is just fine. I was like that in the beginning. But if you want to be an artist that shows in the park, that is prestigious too. There is Malibu Art Show, there is Beverly Hills Art Show. If you want to take a notch, you can show at galleries, prestigious or otherwise. But if you want to make a difference in this world, you have to dream bigger. Not just for the artist, but for all of you. As for myself, I dream to be worldwide. This talk is not for the faint of heart. This talk is for the artist or individual who wants to be seen, who wants to make a difference. The artist just wants really to show because the artist wants to be seen. If you want to be seen and you want to be up there, it is not enough to have one show or two shows. If you want to claim that value that you want on your art, you have to show one show after another show after another show. So that when that collector walks through that gallery door, when that agent calls you to represent you, or when that collector calls you to view your art, by this time you have known your worth. You have known your worth as an artist, you have known your worth for your art, and hopefully as a marketing strategist. I have learned to be a marketing strategist because I chose to market myself. So, how to do that? How to do that? Well, you have to shine. And that is why the title of this talk is Let the Artist Shine. Many years ago, before social media was even around, the galleries and the agents would hide us. 
and us artists would be in the corner of the gallery outside waiting for them to come out. And when they came out, we would rush to them, begging them to look at our slides. Sometimes our slides would even fall on the ground. It was pretty humiliating. But nowadays, with the advent of social media and labels flying all around, the artist now has the power, the power to market himself, to market herself to the fullest of her ability, to the fullest of her ability. And that is why one has to learn how to shine. And how do you shine? How do you shine? I believe that first, as an artist, you have to know the genre of your work. Are you a still life artist? Are you a landscape artist? Are you a figure artist? Also, very important, and this is not for the artist, this is for you as well, to know your archetype. Archetype, what are you? Are you about love? Are you about war? Are you fierce? Are you altruistic? Are you passionate? Are you beautiful? The reason why this is important is because when you recognize and you have embodied your archetype, you take that into yourself, and that is what you use to communicate with your audience, whoever your audience is. And in doing so, as an artist, you now know your archetype with your art. When I paint, I paint in three stages. The first stage is a drawing. When I draw, I study the subject, I study composition, the shape, the shadows. What I'm exactly doing is laying the foundation. When that line is not straight, erase that line. When that circle is not a perfect circle, erase that circle. And why do I do that? Because you have to get the foundation right. Because if you don't, that painting will never be right at the end and it is almost impossible to fix it. The second stage is the underpainting. In the underpainting, I lay a thin layer of paint. The purpose of that is because I want to know tentatively what mood I want to express. Do I want to express red as spheres, yellow as attractive, pink as soothing? That is the purpose of it. But when I thrust that palette knife, I give it my all. I give it my all. And the reason for that is because that one last stroke of palette knife can make or break my painting. This talk is not really just about me or the artist. This is about you, you, the young people of North Hollywood High School, any youth out there. This is about anyone of any demographic, anyone of any culture. This is about your dream. This is about knowing your dream, internalizing your dream, and manifesting your dream. So if you are going to paint your life on this canvas, the drawing is you going to school. You are right now on the first stage, setting the foundation. Then you go to college. Then the painting, the underpainting, you're going to set the mood. You're going to decide how far am I going to go? How much of a challenge am I going to take? But when you thrust, when you thrust that palette knife stroke, you will your dreams into existence. Will your dreams into existence. I always say that art does not start with a painting, nor does it end with a sculpture. Because when you cross that divide, that divide that limits you, you will go into the realm of the unfathomable. And when you are there, be inspired, be passionate, because then you will be limitless you will be indefatigable. I invite you, I challenge all of you and anyone out there to be unstoppable. Be unstoppable, like my unstoppable in Spain. Be unstoppable, live that dream, dream big. Make your dream your hunt. Make your life, that big life of yours, your treasure. Live life. Fearlessly live life clinging to nothing, clinging to nothing. Thank you.